with an award for artistic bravery at the Durban International Film Festival. It's a huge pleasure to uh, speak to Jamil Kubeka, who directed the film of Good Report, joins us from our Cape Town studios. Uh, Jamil, good morning to you. Uh, I think uh, congratulations in order for the award that you did get for your movie once it was finally shown. But why now the chasing of a defamation case? Why not just go on with your business? <laughs> Um, thank you to you and your viewers for having me here. And um, no, I'm very honored by the award that I was given by the Durban International Film Festival. Um, I didn't see it coming. They even, um, there's a new award that I'm the first recipient thereof and for artistic bravery. So I'm, I'm very honored by all of that. Um, why pursue it and why continue? Um, the first, I would pose that question firstly to the FPB, who even now, after their own appeals board, um, um, overruled this and not only did they overrule it but they gave the film a 16 rating mm. um, hardly uh, child porn I would say um, the COO as well as his spokesperson and as well as the head of the FPB have still continued with a tirade of, of attacks against us they are still on Twitter um, the the head of the organization is still uh, maintaining that in her view this is still child pornography now the defamation case that we're pursuing is not necessarily about the film. It's about the implication around the people who are affected by this um, decision. That's the, uh, the fundamental. It's, it's also about having, uh, challenging them in the sense that we need transparency in the process. We need to understand how do they get to these decisions. So it's quite strange that their own appeals board would uh, uh, deem the film to be a 16 rating, yet the head of the organization and their spokespeople are still saying this is child pornography. Have you had any chance to try and interact with the FPB yourself before pursuing this uh, legal matter? Have they in any way tried to, beyond as you mentioned, social media, try to interact with you to get your thoughts on how it's been handled? Um, not on a personal level. I mean, my, uh, uh, my business partner, Michael Oretch, who's the producer of the film, as well as my other partner, Luzo Gotilima, and some of the actors were at the FPB um, uh, meeting that they had at, uh, in Durban last week. I wasn't at the time. Um, so much has played out into a personal space in terms of what's happened in Twitter. I think a lot of people have read about my tweets with, uh, with their spokesperson, uh, Prince. And um, so much has happened in that space that, no, there hasn't been a middle ground for where we could even sit down and, and have this discussion. Um, I'm not even sure from my end that I want to, when people who in their own organization, their own appeals uh, panel, has clearly stated that this film is not pornography, yet they still carry on with this tirade. Do you think, I want Jamil, my apologies, do you think that the FPB... Uh, have no idea what they're talking about when it comes to classifying films. That was certainly one of the arguments put forward that they're not even quite sure what the classification is supposed to be with South African films. Do you think they, they know what they're doing? Um, I don't want to make it a personal attack and say they don't know what they're doing. Uh, let me put it this way. Let me rather say I and the rest of the public don't know what they're doing. And what I mean by that is that their process is not a very clear one. It is not a transparent process. Mm. Uh, we're talking about a, a regulatory body that is run out of uh, home affairs, but it's regulating uh, film and publication in this country. That's a bit of a strange bedfellow for me. And um, I think the reason why we're in this place is because of the lack of transparency in terms of the process. Um, for me, the arts should be regulated by the arts. You know, I have no problem with having uh, uh, organizations like the Film and Publication Board but it sits in a very strange place. Mm. Hence, we've been here before. This is the third, third time that the FPB have, have made a, a somewhat zealous decision that has gone even to the Constitutional Court, and they've been kicked on it. And uh, it's almost like sour grapes for them to come back and make this amendment to the law in 2009, which when you read it, it, it does not make sense in terms of what a definition of child pornography is. It doesn't look at gratification. It doesn't look at all of the other global definitions of what constitutes even pornography. Yeah, Jamil, and I'm afraid we'll have to leave it there. I, I think you have made your, your point as well. Jamil, my I don't mean to be rude. I do uh, apologize for problem, interjecting. Uh, time, Jamil, time is money. Time well is done money. to you and uh, your team for getting the film out in the end. Uh, we'll leave it there for the moment. The unbanning of a good report. That was the director, uh, Jamil Kubeka, joining us from our Cape Town studios. Up next. News that moves. ENCA.com.